So guys, we've got a very interesting segment. It's like basically trying to attach to one of your all-time soulmates, friend, <laughs> or anything you may want to call. It's the number one yar in your life, or anything, wherever it may come from. So I'm going to go to Trevor, who's not picked any one particular reason or a person for any of the questions today. We we'll put him on the spot. Trevor, your number one yar. Yar is a friend or a mate or anything. Whatever. I will go with our head coach Sanger. I've obviously been with him 17, 18 years. I've coached him. Um, We've got a good working relationship and we're best of friends as well. You know the game inside out. You know people, <laughs> you know people management well. So, okay. So, one, uh, one, so again, this, this is on the spot. You have to come into something. One moment that you enjoyed uh, with Sangha. Okay, um, just before he retired at the World Cup in 2015, when I should have been with India, now somehow I wasn't. But, um, <laughs> but you were Sri Lanka. Some, there. Somehow you got the World Cup pass. <laughs> <laughs> um, and he got 400s in four innings. Um, and it was just awesome because I've been with him for a long time and sort of his batting coach and stuff. So that, that really was um, an awesome moment. Uh, you, you've been integral part of Indian cricket for a while in some fashion or the other. You, be, you must have been involved with a lot of uh, crowd moments, intimate crowd moments or like chants or something that's happened over the years. Any, anything that sticks, that rings in your ear? Um, there's one. Um, when I was with the Indian team and we were playing South Africa and Kalis was walking in and they were going, Kalis, Kalis. And Chantal, my girlfriend who's French Canadian, was in the stands. And Kalis, um, in her French language, is a very rude word. <laughs> and she was sitting with a friend and going, What are they saying? What are they saying? <laughs> <laughs> so it was really funny. So that stood out for me. Yeah, that's interesting. A French Canadian who came for a cricket match. Yeah, that's that's very weird. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, right. So we'll, we'll shift our attention to Dave. Dave, your number one yar. Oh, he's sitting right there. Uh, in cricket, especially. so. Over the past few years, we have been together a lot in terms of... You're talking about process, right? Yeah, process, yeah. yeah. Um, we have played a lot of matches together, we have travelled a lot together, so... Um, yeah, definitely will be here. So, will he give the same answer? I don't think so. But let's He's, not allowed, <laughs> He's not allowed to. He's not allowed to, by the way. And your one intimate moment. I see you guys sharing sharing the same seat in the bus and you literally, he was sitting on your lap last week. <laughs> uh, I, I was actually going to say the, the bus journey is the banter that we have uh, because when you play a lot together, when you're around each other a lot, it's important to like, you know, just keep things fun and keep things light. And I feel uh, just having him along and just having that, you know, knowing that person throughout the last few years and having him in every team has helped a lot. So like the banter that we have is what I enjoy a lot. Right, okay. So the third question is same as what I asked Trevor. Uh, any of the crowd chants, any of moments with the crowd uh, that you really enjoyed and you miss or you want to go back to? Uh, definitely, uh, the Sachin chants are something that everyone would say is the most iconic in India uh, or per perhaps the world. So, uh, that's something I've always remembered and just the goosebumps that I get when that's been going around through the stadium is just incredible. And uh, one other thing is the national anthem when it plays uh, during a game for India. So. <laughs> So when it plays for India and when you play for India and the national anthem plays and the whole crowd is singing it with you, so like that that's something incredible and I would like to do that at some point. Yeah. Do you know why I asked this question to you before I did it to Prasad? Yeah. Because I know some of these answers would come, the Sachin Sachin chant, yeah. the national anthem, yeah. and always the bowlers do the tougher job. So I'm going to go next to Prasad. Oh. <laughs> the answers taken away from him, he's got to get creative as usual. Prasad, your number one yar, and you can't say Devdatta. You're going to say Devdatta. No, I think I'll go back to my junior cricket. This my friend called Nishchal. I think he's captained me throughout my junior days, and uh, the kind of moments that we've spent on the ground has been. We've lost so many games. We've won a lot. We've had so much banter in the nets. So I think I would say it is him. Okay, one special moment that you shared with him. Uh, it's not a special moment. I think it's it's something that you know. Obviously, I'm going to share it. We were in the nets. He was the net session was done, and we were as bowlers. We didn't really have the liberty to you know say we are done. So yeah, until the batsman's batting, we need to keep bat bowling. So it was one of those days where all of us were tired. We'd bowl for about one hour, and he said, "I want to bat more." And he came in, and I said to three other bowlers, "Every ball is going to be, be a bouncer." And I bowled a bouncer, hit his finger, fractured it, and he missed a whole season because of that. So I, that's something that is funny, and also feel bad for the fact that he missed out <laughs> on the whole season. A lesson taught to the batsman, well, sir. <laughs> <laughs> the final question: one chant or one crowd memory that you have. I actually wanted to talk about the national anthem because I've always dreamt about uh, you know be standing there singing the national anthem with everybody everybody singing it with us. Uh, but otherwise, the one thing that I remember is 
the semi final 2011 world cup when the whole crowd was singing i think even if i think about it now it gives me goosebumps so we live for such moments as sportsmen and to be playing for the country like india where you know the crowd is with you no matter what where you're playing i think i remember we, i was in england during the test it felt like we were playing in india so yeah proud to be playing for this country well done prasad i'm really proud of the bowlers club i gave you the tougher <laughs> ones despite dev that stealing that indian <laughs> national anthem thunder you managed to do a fine job and i thought yeah it just makes sense i remember the moment i was there sitting inside the dressing room enjoying it okay so that's that guys thank you so much thanks cheers